Hey guys, this is part two of Magic Kingdom 2016 trip. So, let's just get started. So after the uh, Winnie the Pooh ride, we went uh, to roam around Fantasyland, and then we went to Liberty Square, which we met with our other party. And we ate at Columbiana's Harbor House. Uh, it's really like a cool scenery. And then they're like, come on aboard because technically it's like almost like a ship house. So uh, we ate there. I had a mixture of um, chicken tenders and uh, golden fried fish with fries and then water. And then I took um, some pictures around. There's this book that's going around. And I don't know what it is. But I saw one of them at um, one of the shops near uh, Beauty and the Beast Castle. I think it's near LeFou's or Gaston's. Yeah, it's near Gaston's Tavern. And there's this book. And it has the beast on it. And then I'm like, is this a joke? But it's an actual published book. I don't know what was the price on it because it didn't say, but I would buy it. So after that, uh, we went to go watch a Great Moments in History. Uh, that's a Muffet's little show. It's about like 10 minutes, and I have footage of that here. History! Come closer, all ye people gather round and listen well. My friends and I have some of history's greatest tales to tell. Your hair will stand on end with all the history and such. Unless, of course, you're bald like me, in which case, not so much. Oh, hi there, Sam. It's Sam Eagle, everybody. Hey, tell us, Sam, what great American story are we sharing today? Today we shall salute the Midnight Ride of Paul Revere. Ah, a great story indeed. The ride of Paul Revere, a fateful night that saved the day. He warned the founding fathers, but the British were on their way. In their red coats, with their muskets, they were mean and scary too. But we won't speak about all that. This is wholesome, through and through. Right, let's bring out some friends to help us. Hey guys, that's your cue. Watch it! Great moments in history. Great moments in history. Hey, this one features more. And here's what you will take away in all your minds and hearts. Great moments in history, but only the American. Great moments in history, but just the American hearts. <laughs> Greetings, my fellow Americans and others. As official historian of Liberty Square, I am honored to present to you a dramatic recitation of The Midnight Ride of Paul Revere by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, with additional dialogue by Sam Eagle. Cue the patriotic music! <clears throat> Let us begin. The 
listen, my children, to what is going on here. You said chickens. I said children, not chickens. Oh. Shoo, shoo. We're going. Come on, girls. <clears throat> Let us begin again. Listen, my children. And you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere. Hi, all. Paul Revere here. It is not Paul Revere. What? Oh, good heavens. Peggy, it's Paul Revere, not Paula. But it's a starring role, so surely it must be meant for moi. Paul Revere was a man. Correction, he was not just a man. He was a son of liberty, along with John Adams, Sam Adams, and John Hancock. Well, then what part is written for moi? I'm sorry, Piggy, but there's no part for you. Oh, we'll see about that. Hm. Uh, sorry about that, Sam. Uh, please continue. Uh, right, um, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. He said to his friend, if the British march... Hang a lantern in the North Church Arch. With a watchful eye, look out for them. To which his friend replied, no problem. I'll hang one if by land and two if by sea. Great. And three if by monorail. Uh, Fozzie. And four if by pogo stick. Uh, no, no, no. Five if Fozzie. by unicycle. Fozzie. Six if by registered mail. Fozzie! Help! Fozzie, are you okay? Uh, yeah. The lantern's lightened my fall. Get it? Lanterns? Lightened? Ah! Just hang the lanterns from the church. <sighs> One if by land and two if by sea. That's good, because we only have two left. Ah, two lanterns. They're coming by sea. Ah, yes. Now Paul Revere upon his horse did ride. Oh, where is the horse? Ah, ah, here you go, Kermit. Ah, uh, done so. You were supposed to get a real horse, not a stick horse. The real horse got sick. Oh, is he a little horse? <laughs> Does he need some cough stirrup? <laughs> Do I know funny? Nah. <sighs> I have had enough of this kind of nonsense. What kind of nonsense would you prefer? Would you get out of here? Ah! Oh, no, where were we? Oh, I, I am on a, uh, a horse. Ah, yes. <clears throat> Paul Revere upon his stick horse did ride, and by the light of the silvery moon he cried, oh, what is that music? <sighs> what? <laughs> by the light Not the dark, but the light of the silver Stop it. Moon. Not the sun, but Stop the moon. I want to see. Stop it. Not the moon. Not the moon. I want to see. 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 Not the moon. Peggy, what are you doing? I made some changes in the play. Now I have a musical number. Well, you can't just write yourself into the play. That's not how it works. Oh, okay. Then let's see how this works. What? Hiya! Uh, well, I'd say that song was a hit. Good thing the lanterns lightened his fall. Ah, good one. Get out of here. I'm going, I'm going. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Sam, what's next? Uh, um, right, um, by the light of the silvery moon, he cried. Uh, the red coats are coming! The red coats are coming! Where are the red coats? They're coming! The red coats are here! Gonzo, uh, I said no chickens! Aww. But I promised they could be in the show! Why are you ruining this I am making it better! Get them out of here, Gonzo! Uh, Enough already, you can't be a red coat! Why? Then I'm the woman in the blue! Don't you dare sing! Oh, she's singing again! Oh, Kermit, would you help me? There's a game of feathers all over me! I help I can't help you, that's all I'm trying to raise your anointing with big You're supposed to have feathers! Quiet, everyone! You are ruining this great moment in history! Kermit, if this chaos continues, a show is history! I think you're right, Bobby! How are we going to end it? Like this! Great moments in history, the ride of Paul Revere. Great moments in history, you saw it all right here. And here's what you will take away in all your minds and hearts. Great moments in history, great moments in history, great moments in history. Great moments in history.
the Tony the American dream. Oh, oh, it's a dream, but just the American hearts. I uh, hope to see you again soon. Oh, and to England, no hard feelings. You're still one of our best friends. So long, everybody. And then after that, we went on Haunted Mansion. Now, this is the first time I went on Haunted Mansion because as a kid, I made myself believe that Haunted Mansion was actually haunted and scary, but it wasn't even scary at all. So I'm kind of beating myself up now, like, dang it, that 10 year old Francis didn't go on Haunted Mansion and it wasn't even like scary at all. So you stupid, past Francis, you stupid. I got a video of uh, the Haunted Mansion and the pictures from the queue here. And now, 
dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> Which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> of course, there's always my way. Oh, come on, guys. It's just Disney. They can't scare you crapless. I know. They can't scare the little kids. Ooh, it feels good. Retired here to the haunt. 
have and let there be music from regions beyond wizards and witches wherever you dwell give us a hint by ringing the bell Serpents and spiders, tail of a rat, call in the spirits wherever they're at. part two video of uh, Magic Kingdom 2016. I'll see you in the next videos and don't forget to have a magical day because you deserve it. <laughs>